Question 1. What is the difference between linear acceleration and centripetal acceleration in which one is the velocity constant? Well, when the speed is constant, then the linear acceleration, a synonym for tangential acceleration, would be zero. Then the total acceleration, which is the centripetal <laughs> one, is certain, certainly not zero. In fact, in a circle, the acceleration has two components because it is a vector and it has a direction. Uh, one component tangential, uh, tangential to the circle along the direction of uh, motion, which determines the change in speed, and the other component perpendicular to that, uh, to that one along the radius of the circle is the centripetal acceleration due to the changing uh, of direction. In brief, centripetal acceleration is the rate of change of tangential velocity while the linear acceleration <laughs> is the rate of change of tangential speed. What is uh, Question 2. What is the relation between radius and velocity if centripetal force remains constant? Be sure to explain your answer with a graph sketch on a piece of paper or on the board. Well, the greater the radius, the greater the velocity is, in fact, in the formula fc is equal to mv uh, squared divided by uh, radius, we can clearly see that if, uh, if the centripetal force remains the same and the mass remains also the same, uh, we end up with uh, a square, uh, square root square root r is <laughs> equal to uh, velocity. And uh, here we can see our graph uh, when the radius is uh, not squared. And uh, yeah, this is uh, our graph. How does velocity affect Fc? The relationship between the centripetal force and the velocity is squared because Fc is proportional to V squared. For example, if we double the velocity, the centripetal force will increase by a factor of 4. In brief, the centripetal force is proportional to the square of the velocity. Oh. How does mass affect Fc? The centripetal force is proportional to the mass because Fc is proportional to M. For example, when you increase the mass, you also increase the centripetal force.